scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Now, I've had the opportunity to talk with pastors and council pastors and they have cried and cried over ministry in Abuja. Number one, because of the financial implication of living in that territory and doing ministry in that territory. And then quite honestly, the complexity that, you know, comes around the entire ministry within that region. And when God sent me there, I was happy. Where are you going to hold? Where are you going to get the auditorium? Where will you get the resources to do all of that? Uh -uh. That is not my responsibility. That is the owner's responsibility. Stewards, listen to me. Stewards are only concerned about management. Are you seeing that now? It is the owner that has the responsibility for bringing that innovation. And I remember when I went there, I stood outside and I looked and I said, no, the Lord instructed me to get the map of Abuja, the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, and the map of the world. They were on my dining table for a long time. Every time I'm praying, I look at it. I sat down and not sounding arrogant. I don't mean to sound arrogant, but I looked at the map of Abuja and I saw that there were six local governments, 3.6 million people. And I said, I mean, this is, this, is, this, is, this is easier than where I'm coming from. That's what I told myself, based on light, not based on arrogance. I did not see any hindrance whatsoever by any reason. Listen, I did ministry by the grace of God in the Zazel Emirate. If you know anything about Zaria, that is the seat of, you know, the whole Islamic practice. And we covered the road for 10 years because of overflow. It was the grace of God. So I had seen the hand of God and when God was sending me there, I was happy. I wouldn't sit down and be asking stupid questions. Lord, how will you come through? No, this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. Where will the people come from? Faith, comet, and it comes with everything it can pull. Faith does not come alone. The Bible just says faith comes. But when it comes, you will see that it's dragging every other thing too. Are we together now? I remember the auditorium that we use when I'm sharing this to inspire you not not I remember when I was told of that auditorium was big huge you know about the most expensive auditorium in the entire city and then this is our site overflows and every other place and without exaggeration I tell you the price for one single use may probably run many conferences just one one use one week and when i sent a few people to discuss with the owner of the place he said no 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 i'm not giving it it, it it took a lot to build this place we're not giving it to church we're not giving this they will destroy it and yet i went to the place of prayer and the lord told me that was the place and i said that's it it's done i said just leave him he has been told that is it i was in enugu when the man called true story and he said for the first time in his life i hope i'm right on that that he had the voice of god speaking to him 
and said do not dare prohibit these people this is a move that is coming and it is a blessing even to you and the man called he was not feeling very strong so i decided let me go and see him for the first time and greet him i got to his office and there and then he called all the managers and we had a discussion and to god be the glory the rest is history god has honored himself beyond imagination say faith shout it say faith i'm saying this because some of you i don't mean to insult you but i'm here to tear down that mediocrity many of us are battling with things that are not giants your mind has magnified them 10 years trying to build that house two years trying to do this apostle how am i going to pay the school fees of my children how am i going to live my life lifetimes are so expensive can i tell you faith can elevate you to a point where it will be as though you are holding a charm in your hand faith there are no guarantees in life your guarantee is your faith a few weeks ago was probably one of the the most dramatic personal experience i've had flying in the air and i've had the privilege to fly for many years but something happened a few weeks i think it was the weather and it was raining and my goodness it was i don't know it was it was it was almost devastating i'm not sure that i've had an experience where the plane is as if someone is playing table tennis from i'm not talking of just bombs here and there bombs that even you you know you can look at the cabin crew and you know that everybody's just saying god just help us to land safely believe me god is my witness i looked at this thing and i was sleeping scriptures like arrows i'm going to show you how faith works i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord i have said before you life and death honor your father and your mother in the lord having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete and you find stability and security because you see in the world that we live in there are many people who have a superstitious idea to the kingdom experience they just hope that somehow without understanding faith they will survive today's world no sir the evil of the times the wickedness in the hearts of men within this time it will require your thorough understanding of this weapon that the bible says is the victory are you ready to learn faith now number one the first key please listen carefully the foundation for bible faith the foundation for bible faith i shared it with the members of the house on the rock last time i was here the foundation for bible faith is an awareness of the promises of god listen to me scripture is the boundary of god's commitment to the believer god cannot be committed to the believer outside the provision that is allowed by scripture you have to understand this there is no superstition when you are dealing with god scripture defines the jurisdiction of god's commitment to the believer whatever allowance scripture cannot provide the power of god will not go beyond that boundary in the beginning was the word john 1 1 in the beginning was the word in the beginning was the word in the beginning of your business is there a word for it in the beginning of your life is there a word for it in the beginning of the year in the beginning of the month in the beginning of the day the rule is in the beginning was the word it always starts with the word to find out what god has said concerning my life to find out what god has said concerning your life let me see if you have remained good students with a particular bias to house on the rock members last i was here i told you that there are three dimensions if you can remember that the bible principally contains three things number one promises number two principles number three prophecies every time you open your bible there are three things you are exposed to number one promises god's commitment to you 
number two principles the modus operandi of the kingdom how the kingdom operates they are called the mysteries of the kingdom number three prophecies that gives you rest and hope for the future are we together so the foundation of bible faith please hear me man of god what gives you a guarantee that your church will thrive in mina oh i am from this area no sir what gives you the guarantee that you will excel in business excel in ministry what gives you the guarantee that your children are going to be responsible people tomorrow oh i send them to good school no the bible says listen carefully it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow there are people who have done everything you are doing and more and yet it did not work can i tell you there are times you may have the boat you may have the net you may be in the sea yet it will not catch fish this is not an issue of laziness this is not an issue of lack of skill there are times your net will not catch fish there are times your boat will be there at that time you don't need skill you need jesus only jesus can make the fish to gravitate to your net in the beginning was the word i never take any action in my life until i can find scriptural guarantees please write it down when i say the word i don't mean a vision i don't care what dream or what supernatural experience you have if there are no scriptures that give you a backing you are not going anywhere believe me this is where many many people especially we who god has helped in the apostolic and the prophetic just because you had an encounter just because you had a vision and in that vision you saw something and wrote it down and you are praying it believe me that is not why it will come to pass the secret to the manifestation of anything is it is written when satan came to jesus jesus did not say i saw jesus did not say i am seeing jesus did not say i am hearing do you think that it was only what was written that he, he could use this is jesus the fountain of wisdom he obviously was seeing a lot of other things but the arsenal that he used to establish victory was it is written mina please shout say it is written yes. one more time don't be tired say it is written yes. it is written is greater than i saw it is written is greater than i heard it is written is greater than he told me the most superior encounter is it is written but you know we live in a world where if i tell you now that i'm standing i'm seeing an angel and the angel is saying this and saying that chances are that you may feel spiritually bullied and you may feel as though because you are not seeing anything you are in a lesser spiritual plane than me it may not necessarily be so the realm of the spirit only respects it is written use what jesus used jesus did not use i saw that does not mean he didn't see and that does not mean seeing is wrong he didn't use i heard it does not mean hearing is wrong it is written all three temptations it is written someone prophesy say it is written this must be your ultimate basis surround your life with scriptures that give you guarantee i'm showing you how bible faith works so if i ask you what gives you guarantee that next year shout 2022 you will be there if you say i'm eating well you are joking find out how many nutritionists died between yesterday and today oh i drive carefully have you heard about people who sat down quietly and a vehicle came to lift them up the basis for your confidence for everything in this kingdom is it is written get ready because we're going to do a little class work here now that everything i ask you whatever it is that gives you confidence and the basis for exploits your answer should be it is written this is spiritual intelligence so what gives you the basis right now that the remaining part of this year will be a great one for you it is written
you must learn it what gives you the basis man of god that this level of anointing is the lowest level you walk in oh just because there's a man of god waiting to lay hands on me after service no sir every man is a steward it is what gives you the basis that the patterns that you saw from your family that you saw people who were as zealous as you and yet they could not make it well-meaning well-intentioned christians it is written what is written i've been called out of every tribe i've been called out of every tongue that is what is written that is what you are going that is your strong reasons in the school of faith it starts with what is written not what you want what is written you have to find what is written and connect what when what is written is connected with what you want the power of god can now move if all you bring is what you want you will get sympathy but not performance many people have what they want but they have not brought before the lord what is written he says present your cause bring forth your strong reasons madam what gives you the guarantee that this morning that yoke of barrenness will be broken oh i know why joshua selman is here uh -uh. it is written that's the correct approach believe in the lord your god and you shall be established believe his prophets now this is where we come in we come in as a subset of what was written the reason why you will be healed why you will be delivered the reason why every prophetic word will work for you is beyond the man who is speaking is because that man himself is submitted to it is written you are holding a bottle of oil on your hand what gives you a guarantee that that bottle of oil is going to bless you because it is yellow and it is anointing oil no that oil was designed to fry things in the kitchen it was not designed for your head it is your faith that has converted it now to be used and i tell you if you do not connect that oil with it is written you are only wasting your time everyone shout it is written i'm bringing to your mind the consciousness of how bible faith works go and find scriptures that give you a guarantee that that house will be built let me give you one the hand of zerubbabel that began this work that that same hand will complete it that now becomes the basis for believing that it will be complete what makes you believe that with the plagues and the arrows that are killing people you are not next in line what is the basis i didn't trouble anybody superstitious africa oh there the basis for your confidence must be it is written what is written that the fullness of your days you will fulfill what is written that it is within your power to choose life what is written that when you honor your father and your mother and the lord your days will be long and it shall be well with you what is written that you shall not die but live and declare and since you are declaring there is a justification for your continuity it is written this is how kings reign in this kingdom what gives you a guarantee that your destiny helper is going to come i listened to a teaching on favor no sir it is written gentiles will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising it is written where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you you shall be called an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations what is written that when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him what else is written This is how we reign in this kingdom man of god what gives you room that you will remain in ministry it is written i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed and since i've handed the ministry to him another reason why it is written and i if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men that means there cannot be drought for you in ministry why it is written shout it say it is written I'm teaching you Bible faith. All this nonsense, I, I, I say it with every sense of respect and responsibility. There is a lot of nonsense that is not equal faith. We'll only worry ourselves in front of the door and not command results.
you don't fail when it is written you only fail when you think you only fail when it is an opinion when it is written you win when i started out in ministry i didn't start to fail there was no plan b for failure and this is not some competitive canal standpoint i found in scripture that i can look unto jesus i saw him do and finish what was given to him and the bible says as i have sent him so send i you jesus did not fail in ministry jesus was not weak in ministry when he wanted supplies even a fish that has no business with coin held coin for his sake so when someone says pastor i had a dream and in that dream god said i should give you this i'm not going to say i don't believe it i found it in scripture fishes don't eat coin but when the master needs it a fish will get coin anywhere and bring it close to the master anything can bless you when it is written are we together i believe this with all my heart why what gives you the basis that you will continue to multiply and grow in the anointing i will tell you three scriptures one the path of the just the bible declares is as a shining light that shines ever brighter onto the perfect day that's what the bible says that's what the bible says and i believe that with all my heart number two the bible says grace and peace can be multiplied through knowledge so the more i engage in strategic spiritual understanding i expect grace alongside the peace it brings to multiply the only limit to the grace and peace in my life is my passion for knowledge if my passion for knowledge does not drop then the grace and peace does not come question what about all the causes and the yokes how am i sure that as i'm standing here someone is not in the shrine with my name the bible already made provision for that that no enchantment and no divination against me will stand this is what i believe it is written and i believe it the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i fear this is the truth don't take this as some child's play it may cost you your life you have to return back from the superstitious approach to christianity and carry your bible and get back to it is written the true basis for bible faith many are they that rise up against me many are they that say where is your help psalm 3 but thou O lord he says you are a shield for me my glory he says and the lifter up of my head he says how did he put it now he says i lay me down and i slept i wait for the lord sustain me so when i sleep i expect to wake up i sleep with the intention to wake up I don't go to bed hoping to just pass there i can have visions that's all right but i have to come back you believe what i'm sharing with you everybody say it is written it is written when men say there is a casting down for me i declare that there is a lifting up that is what i believe strangers shall feed my flock my gates shall be continually open the bible says it shall not be closed day or night to receive the forces of the gentiles this i believe why it is written i'm giving you a new spiritual orientation as childish as this sounds it is the only way we command victory if jesus used it jesus himself when satan came you would think jesus would say are you not aware that i'm the word even the word had to use it is written the logos of the father had to use it is written to establish his victory please hear me it's time to shake away weakness 
it's time to stop getting disappointed and saying look at my uncle my uncle who stays he works in shell my uncle is a governor and he can't just give me a job you will never get a job because your uncle is there you'll get a job because it is written connect your uncle to it is written and leave him there and watch the power of god the power of god only moves when it is written I don't waste my time doing anything without finding a structural biblical basis in as much as i thank god for the privilege of visions and encounters angelic realms and supernatural encounters i bring all these encounters under the reality of it is written i ensure that it is written is exalted above every encounter so watch this come dave let me use you for one moment before we pray if i look at this gentleman now for instance and if god opens my eyes now watch this if god opens my eyes while ministering and i look at this guy and i see him in a ghastly motor accident tomorrow morning on his way back to abuja for instance now that is a visionary experience and it may not be a lie it may be that that's what the devil has in store for him but real dominion is not getting frustrated over what i have seen real dominion is superimposing with it is written are you seeing now i think i've shared this back home in abuja there have been many times through the years when sometimes i'm about to embark on a trip then when i was in zaria mostly and i have great friends around the world genuine anointed men and women of god some of them are intercessors some of them really love the lord and sometimes they can send me text messages and say apostle i'm in a vision right now and i'm seeing you are about to embark on a journey yes you are exactly right say apostle please in the name of the lord i'm begging you we need you don't go i'm seeing a ghastly motor accident and they are not lying these are not just noise makers these are accurate people that speak to nations and i know what they are saying is not a lie but the meeting i'm going for the people need me and i'll tell them okay do you know what man of god i bless god for you don't worry it's okay now that vision is not a lie here is the balance you can ignore them and say don't worry and then go and die like they saw because he's telling you what the devil has planned but let me tell you what dominion is it is written has such a force that it is written can change what i saw it can change what i heard what i saw can change but what was written was written so that it cannot change are we together and many times i sleep peacefully i arrive bless god's people and i return back because it is written i'm sure by the devil's plan the devil doesn't want me to backslide he just wants me to die because there are people who backsliding is still a problem it's just to die get out of this realm completely if you tell me now that there is a spirit that wants to destroy me it's not news no it's not news but it is written but thou O oh lord are a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh lord art a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head number two when you find what it is written listen carefully your second assignment is to believe what it is written believe what is written believe what is written don't just know it believe what is written believe what is written what does it mean to believe to be convicted that what was written is not a lie regardless your feelings regardless what you are seeing the Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. Temporal means subject to change. But the things that are unseen are eternal. 
when you find what is written believe believe how do you get to a point of believing through the art of meditation meditation is how that thing passes the sense realm to be seated in your heart romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 for with the heart man believes so believing is not a brain thing awareness is a brain thing but it must move past the realm of awareness to believing believe number three very quickly so that we can pray now this third key please do not forget it inside outside following online pay attention this third key is where many believers miss it in their faith equation others have been able to stabilize finding what is written others have even gone honestly to the realm where they have believed but many people listen carefully the diligence to fulfill the conditions that scripture demands in order to commit god the diligence to fulfill the conditions that scripture demands in order to commit god this is where many believers miss it this for many people is the missing link in your faith practice the diligence to fulfill the conditions that scripture demands so that you will commit god ah it is not all up to god and it is not all up to you you have to understand how this works every promise in the bible that is that translates into a manifestation of victory for the believer has scriptural demands scriptural conditions please listen to me carefully listen to me carefully everything prosperity increase the anointing influence power grace preservation all of these dimensions of spiritual reality they are truth from scripture they are believable because god is the one who is going to make them happen but all of them have demands that must be fulfilled there is a participatory role that every believer has to play please listen participatory role james said show me your faith without works and i will show you my faith by my works the works there talks of the action that validates that you believe god now watch this let me use let me just permit me to bring out money and just use for an example watch this i'm going to come dave you're the one standing now thank you for your diligence now watch this this is a hundred dollar bill look up please i'm just using it for illustration to show you what many people do now let's assume i am god look up please and then this gentleman desires to access whatever blessing could be anointing could be whatever it is are we together now and the first thing is to find out is there any promise in scripture that guarantees my meeting his need on that wise my god he says shall supply all your needs how many all the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things that you will abound in every good work are we bible students now so he's found the scripture that commits me number two he may even believe that i'm not lying are we together because he has a relationship with me he believes but here is the third part now i'm lifting this and i'm saying trust me i don't have to show you you don't have to see it now i brought it out so that you will believe but i'm going to put it back do i have a hundred dollar bill in my pocket is that true now assuming he does not know i don't have to bring it out it's up to you to trust me do i look like a liar vet my antecedents scripture is god's manifesto showing you that he has integrity are we together now 
So, I tell him, if you believe that I am going to give you this, here is the condition. Move down and walk and climb back and come here. Don't just come directly. Move down. Now, two things you will do for me. I like you to say you are coming, but don't come. Christians, look up. Come. Come, Dave. Look at this. One year, two years, five months. Now, the person who is watching his relationship with me is wondering what kind of a father is this? Whereas the problem is not my integrity. The problem is that he does not know how this thing works. I have told him there is a condition. Does he believe that I wrote it there? Yes. Does he believe in me? Yes. Why is he not receiving it? Are you seeing that now? Time does not change anything. Time only reveals. It is when your obedience is complete. Now watch this. Can I have another gentleman? Please come, sir. Now this guy has been here for five years. Trusting to receive that level of grace. You come and stand. This guy has come from behind now. Here is the same rule again. You do exactly what I asked you to do, okay? If you want what I'm having, go down and come and stand and collect. Go ahead. Watch this. Who is manifesting faith? What if I am lying? Look at the risk he's taking. Now, when he comes here, he has finished his own part. It's up to me now to defend my integrity. This guy now is getting angry with this one. Where did you suddenly come from? It's not about where do I suddenly come from. It's who has obeyed the principles. Are we together? Now, if he comes here and I fail him, he has a right to say you do not have integrity. So your action of obedience puts pressure on God's integrity. Are we together now? So now he has come and I bring out the hundred dollar bill. And when I'm giving him, this guy looks at his promise. But God, you told me this is my own. I didn't lie. God, I believe you. You are right. But you did not take the step that shows that you trust me. It is not any step you take. It is the step allocated to that promise. Most believers just act. And let me tell you this. Most believers think all there is to taking a step of faith is just speaking. Speaking is the first step of action, but not the only one. Comes from the word homologio. It means declare as you have heard. Repeat, echo it. But it does not mean to stop there. Are we together? This gentleman can stay here for 10 years. And you ask him, what are you doing in ministry? I'm doing ministry. What are you doing in business? I'm doing business. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Do you believe in what he has said concerning your victory? Yes. Have you acted upon it? Have you walked in keeping with the conditions that commit his integrity? No. This may be someone today. And God wants to show you the connecting line. It is not because God cannot build a house. Are you seeing that now? You can take that step. So God would have spoken to you and said, Son, I want to bring the anointing to your life. You now found scriptures. Well done. You now believe that you heard God. You believe that the Bible declares if you are doing ministry and you are lifting up the name of Jesus, you should not do it powerless. He said, I will give you power. And that power can grow. Now you have done well. But have you worked in keeping with the conditions that activate power? Prayer, fasting, and all the principles that activate power. If you are not willing to engage in honor for vessels that carry that anointing, you dishonor the vessels that carry the anointing is part of the disobedience to the laws of the anointing. You will never receive that anointing. How about someone who wants to prosper in the kingdom? You have believed God. But have you walked in keeping with the principles that make this? The Bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat. When you are lazy, you are already destroying the law. You are violating the law of diligence. And that means the power of God cannot be released to bless you. Giving is not the only key. Are you valuable? Valuable enough? Almost everyone, if not everyone, whether the music, 
ministers or those who are invited to preach the word everybody who was specially invited here was invited because he was perceived to be valuable whether spiritually valuable economically valuable politically valuable etc so there are principles for greatness my charge to you therefore is that you must complete the equation of bible faith if you want to walk in that victory number one it is written return back to the place where you find value for the word of god every aspect of your life should be surrounded with sufficient scriptures number two believe it take time to meditate take time to listen to teachings the teachings that expand that truth that scripture so that you can believe and then number three you must obtain grace to walk in keeping with the conditions i repeat number three is the most difficult part of the faith equation obtaining the grace are we together this gentleman should be a story for you this is what they both wanted and god is rich the same lord is rich unto all one person took a step he came and collected it the other person did not take any step and he stood there just like you and god is giving you a chance now there it is assuming this guy is sick for instance watch this because i'm about to pray for people now assuming this guy is sick say he has some growth or some tumor and now his first assignment is to believe in jesus that there is jesus the healer there is jesus the restorer there is jesus the deliverer there is jesus the lifter there is jesus the way maker is that true now if he believes the next assignment is to believe in the vessel there are two kinds of believing when you want to receive you have to believe in god but you also have to believe in the vessel that you will use if you believe in god alone it may not work you need to believe in god and the vessel that will be used when you believe then for instance if he says lay your hands i'm about to pray and you just sit down and say this man does not know the size of what is in my stomach i tell you they will share the grace and you will carry that thing there back home but someone can be angry and say no way things have to change lord i believe at the point you are laying your hands you are still feeling the growth and the devil is lying to you and say keep doing this your stupid things that you do in church and you lay your hands by faith and as the word comes like i always teach there is a union between the man of god and the recipient of that anointing your assignment as a recipient is to believe in jesus the integrity of his word and his person and to believe in the vessel that he will use for the man of god my own assignment is to believe in jesus as the one who empowers people and then to believe that he's anointed me to come and do the things that he has sent me to do when there is a union of these two there is no limit to what can happen this is the victory that overcomes even our faith thank you guys this is for you eh? please both of you you, you use the example so next time there's room for example <laughs> hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.